the Month Club. This is actually the second time I'm gonna be recording this. The first time, my my camera did not record at all. Even though I pushed the button, my camera flashed to show me that it was recording and it actually was not. So that is, I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Um, on my Ko-Fi page, I have that I am looking to buy a new camera and I am. So if you guys want to help me get a new camera, you can donate there. Um, it, I have the link in the description box down below. My dog just took the box, so I can't show you what the box looks like, but it comes in a blue box and you are charged, I think it's like $15.95 monthly for one book credit. And if you don't like the books that are on the website, there's, I think there's five books that you can pick from. If you don't like any of the five books, you can skip your month before the sixth of that month. And then your credit rolls over to next month. So I actually skipped a couple of boxes a while ago. So I have a lot of credits left over. So I used three of my credits and I ordered three books. These books are hard covered. Um, they have a nice book jacket. What I really like about these books is that on the back, it tells you what month it is that you ordered this book from. So this one says July 2019. So all three of these books that I picked are from July. And then also, if you take this book jacket off, I actually realized this when I was trying to film this the first time. Some of them has the book of the month thing on the spine here, but they also have a little crest. Can you see that? Down there in the bottom. That's really nice. So it says the month and the year as well on that. So let's jump right into these three books that I got. I actually liked the description on the website a lot better than me trying to read the, um, the inside cover because it's really long and that was taking a long time. So let me pull up the website on my computer real quick. I'm just going to read right from the website because why not? Five, okay, five books, I was right about that. I'll go over the two that I didn't pick and then I'll talk about the three that I did pick. The five books this month are Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center. So this is one of the ones that I didn't pick. Um, it is an early release, so this book is actually not out yet for um, other buyers on other book sites or websites. So this one says a redemptive read from an author, from the author of How to Walk Away with a Tough Girl Firefighter who isn't as tough as she thinks. So this one's about a woman firefighter. Okay, and then the second one that I didn't put in my box is called The Gifted School by Bruce Holsinger. Um, this says, it's a contemporary fiction and it says, Schadenfreude at its finest, a beautiful train wreck in a wealthy parent, with a wealthy parents who implode their oh so perfect lives. Okay. I'm not really sure what that means. The first one that I did add to my box, it's called Three Women by Lisa Tadeo. Tadeo? I don't know. So this is a narrative nonfiction. I like to switch up what genres I read, and you'll see that with um, the books that I have. He has the bookmark. I don't know how he got that. On the website, it says, fascinating, raw, and not safe for the workplace. 10 years of reporting, is on full display recounting women's complicated sex lives. So I picked this book because it seems very taboo, um, especially now when women are being, it seems like repressed for our bodies and what we choose to do with them. So I picked this one because I thought that this was a great way to show that we do have say in what we do with our bodies because their own freaking bodies, hello, oh, that's so stupid, I don't even wanna get into it. But I'm very excited for this read. The second one that I picked is a thriller. It's called Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. Oh, looks like this. Very creepy. Um, it has like the dark colors and you see like the, it's like a hallway almost with old wooden paneling on the walls. And this is a three-peat author. I, all, I actually have one of his other books. I'm gonna, I pulled it out of my collection for you. This is Final Girls by Riley Sager. I actually really, really loved this book. 
the ending completely blew me away. I was not expecting it at all. And that's what I'm hoping with this one. If, it, if this book is anything like this book, I am going to, like he's gonna become one of my favorite authors, honestly. Because I, I find it hard for me to like a lot of thrillers, but I really enjoyed Vinyl Worlds, so I'm hoping that I enjoyed this one as well. Um, so the little description on the website says, from the author of Vinyl Girls, and the last time I lied, a horror story that too good to be true, Craigslist job. So I did read a little bit about this and the main character takes a job um, at a hotel and it turns out to be very creepy and one of the women she works with disappears and a whole bunch of creepy things happen and there's a killer involved. So I'm really excited for this book. Um, I might start this one next, I'm not sure. I have so many books that I haven't read, like I'm hoping that by doing this on my channel that it's going to encourage me to read more, um, but yeah, I really want to read this one. Okay, the final book in my box is called Gods of Jade and Shadow. I really, really like this cover. There's a lot of like Mayan art on here, a lot of bright colors. Um, this one is a historical fantasy, and it is by Sylvia Morano Garcia, and it says a whip-smart Cinderella gets tangled up in a 1920s jazz age epic that brings together Mayan mythology to life. I picked this book for several reasons. Like normally, I do not like historical fictions. History was my least favorite subject in school, which is interesting because a lot of English majors, I'm English and psychology, also really enjoy history and I struggled with history so much but besides that I really enjoy the 1920s and the Mayan culture so that's why I picked this one it's literally a blend of different stories it's Cinderella it's jazz it's Mayan history so that's why I picked this one in every box you get a bookmark my puppy already got a hold of this one and he chewed it up. I'm actually kind of upset, so let me talk to you about these bookmarks. When I first started getting Book of the Month, there was a bookmark for every book. They were longer, they had the book title, the author, and then on this side, there was a like paragraph or so written by the Book of the Month editor that picked that book, or the guest author that picked that book and why they picked it. And they don't do that anymore. You get one tiny bookmark that just says something on it that says, where were we? And the book of the month. I have so many of these, but I miss the old bookmarks. I miss the paragraph or so. I know they put it on the website that you can look, but I liked it on here. Cause then I could stick it in there and be like, yes, this is why I picked this book too. That is why I am encouraged to open this book up and continue reading, but they got rid of it. <sighs> okay, end of rant. If you are interested in trying the Book of the Month Club, they offer a $5 off link that I have. So I'm gonna put it in this description box. So it's $5 off for you, and then it gives me a $5 credit. That is not enough for me to buy one box, but it will help a little bit. Um, so then I can continue to bring these boxes to you and show you what's inside of them, show you why I picked things, and then later it will give me the opportunity to review them for you and tell you what I thought about these books. So I'm trying to help you so then you can help me, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, that was that. Um, I'm really excited to start that Riley Sager book. I'm currently reading two books right now. One's on my Kindle and one is another book of the month book. I feel like my channel is all over the place, but that's just my life. Like my channel is a example of my life. My life is all over the place. My channel is all over the place. I love so many different things that it's hard for me to pick one thing to focus on. And then if I were to make like a channel for each area that I'm interested in, I would have so many channels that I would lose my mind. So I'm just gonna put them all in one place and that's that if you don't like it well you're watching the wrong video i guess <sighs> okay i've ranted way too many times in this video so yeah um i hope you guys liked this give me a thumbs up if you did 
Um, let me know down below which of those three books or the five books that the website offers that you want to try to read or read, not try to read, that sounds mean, um, that you want to read. And then we can kind of make, what if we made like a book club? That would be cool. Like if you guys were like, oh yeah, I'm reading that book too. Let's read them together. That would be cool. We should do that for all of you book two people out there that are also getting these books. Let me know. We can make a little book club. I think that'd be awesome actually the more I think about this in the comments and then subscribe so you know when I post I try to post Monday Wednesday and Friday like I said I post a variety of comment of content and I hope that I post something that you like so that you like to watch I'm passionate about a lot of different things and I just hope that I can portray that for you guys so then you can follow along with me and enjoy things as well all right, I think I rambled enough today, so we're gonna cut this off and I'll see you guys next time.